Hey, what's up guys? Today, I'll show you a thriller film, Death Note, Light Up the New World. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. The film's main element is the Death Note. The Death Note gives the capacity to its owner to take life through writing the target's name in it. However, the owner must visualize the face of the target while writing the name, which puts a heavy ethical responsibility on the action. The film features two groups with opposing worldviews. The first one is Kara and its believers, who intend to collect the Death Note to create a world with peace through purging evil humans. The other, L's successor Muzaki and the Death Note Task Force, aims to prevent the Kara group, since it believes that evil means can never be justified by its end. These two opposing forces in the film raise the question of whether evil means can be justified by their ends. The answer is for you to find out. The movie begins with the arrival of the Death Note Task Force at the crowded streets of Shibuya, where casualties caused by a Death Note holder occur. The Death Note Task Force is a group of policemen led by Miss Hima, who intends to secure all of the Death Notes to prevent casualties caused by them. The Death Note Task Force identifies a young girl with a hoodie as the suspect. Miss Hima finds the young girl with a hoodie in the crowd. He proceeds to follow the young girl with a hoodie. As he follows the young girl, people in the trail of the young girl keep dying, which confirms that she holds a Death Note. At the end of the street, the young girl sees a man with a creepy mask and makes her stop in fear. A man in a creepy mask shoots the young girl, making her fall to the ground. The man in a creepy mask goes towards the unconscious young girl and proceeds to get her death note. In the crowd, there is Sheehan, a cyber-terrorist Kara believer, who is in possession of another death note. In his death note, the names Sakura Ali and Heart Attack as a way of death are written. After the incident, the man with a creepy mask is walking at passage. Miss Ima calls the man in a creepy mask in the name of Ryuzaki. Apparently, the man in a creepy mask is Ryuzaki, a world-class private investigator who helps the Death Note task force. Miss Ima tells Ryuzaki they are not allowed to kill Death Note holders. Ryuzaki reveals that he shoots the young girl only with a tranquilizer. As they talk, the forensics call Miss Hima and tell him the young girl dies of a heart attack. Ryuzaki tells Miss Hima that it is not indeed him that kills the girl. As Ryuzaki walks away from Miss Hima, he tells Miss Hima that there are other Death Note holders. After that, the police leader and the Death Note task force meet at the headquarters to talk about the case of the Death Note. Miss Hima tells them the information regarding the young girl who holds the Death Note. The young girl's name is Sakura Ai, exactly the name written in the Death Note of Sheehan. Miss Hima explains to them that he thinks that the young girl has a Reaper's Eye, the capacity to recognize the name of the people just by looking at their faces. The police leader asks Miss Hima if the young girl is the Neo Kara, the successor of Kara. Miss Hima tells the police leader that the young girl might not be the Neo Kara, since the Neo Kara imitates the actions of Kara. Miss Hima explains that the young girl's actions are completely opposite of Kara, because 10 years ago, the original Kara, Light Egami, targeted felons in the world while the young girl targeted innocent people. The actions of the original Kara lead to the reduction of crime rate, which makes some people consider him God and his followers continue to exist in the present. After the meeting, the Death Note task force gathers to the vault where the Death Note will be kept. They observe the Death Note and talk about it. Miss Hima explains to them that the Death Note belongs to a Reaper. Ryuzaki tells them to hold the Death Note. As they hold the Death Note, its Reaper appears before them. The Reaper's name is Beppo. Miss Hima asks Beppo the numbers of the Death Note that exist in the world. Beppo tells him there are six, and six is the only number of Death Notes allowed in the world. The other members of the Death Note task force get the attention of Beppo, as they talk about Ryuzaki as the most trusted by the Interpol regarding the Death Note case and the successor of L. Beppo tells them that L was able to stop Kara in the past, and asks them if L has a successor. Ryuzaki answers Beppo that he is the successor of L and the number one nemesis of the Reapers. After that, in his home, when pondering upon the information given by the Reaper Beppo, Miss Hima realizes that the only way to stop the killings caused by the Death Note is to gather all six notes and seal them up. The following day, back to the headquarters, the Death Note Task Force talks about the spread of the Kara virus. The Kara virus spread all around the world. It hacks into the system of devices, gathers information, and shows a video of Light Agami, the original Kara, telling the world about his ideals. Kara intends to create a new world which is a peaceful world through purging foolish humans using the Death Note. In light of the spread of the Kara virus, the Death Note Task Force talks about finding the identity of Kara. Matsuda, one of the members of the Death Note Task Force, tells the Task Force he witnessed the death of Light Agami and the Reaper of Light's Death Note which is named Ryuk, after holding the Death Note in the past. This makes Yuzaki realize that Ryuk is the Reaper of the Neo Kara. 
The Death Note Task Force points their attention to Mr. Amain, the lover of light and former holder of Death Note, who lives now in peace as a celebrity, since she lost her memory after giving up the Death Note. Meanwhile, Miss Amain, in her personal room, receives a message from a voice similar to Light, through a phone hidden in a bag of chips. It tells her to open the present. Inside the present is the Death Note. She holds the Death Note. Upon holding it, Reaper Rag appears, and she regains her memory instantly. Later, Miss Amain walks into the parking lot towards her car. The Death Note Task Force is having surveillance of her as she walks. As Miss Amain goes inside her car, there is Sheehan, who claims to be Light's messenger. Sheehan tells Miss Amain that Light is alive and wishes for the creation of a new world, and to accomplish this, they need to get all of the six Death Notes. Sheehan adds that L's successor intends to stop Light's wish, and they need to beat them. Also, Sheehan tells Miss Amain that he will gather all of the Death Notes, and together, they will meet Light at the promised place. Miss Amain seems not to believe the story. Sheehan walks out of the car and deletes the footage of the surveillance camera. The Death Note Task Force does not see everything that happens, and so clears Miss Amain of any suspicion. After that, Sheehan pretends to be a delivery guy and goes to the office of a high-ranking judge who owns a Death Note. Sheehan hands over a Death Note to the judge. The judge reads the Death Note and stops in fear. It is written that the judge will hand over the Death Note to Sheehan and will kill himself afterward. Meanwhile, Yuzaki in the headquarters is able to see what happens to the judge. He is able to conclude that the Neo-Kara is trying to get the six Death Notes, and speculates that the Neo-Kara already has four Death Notes. They need to stop the Neo-Kara and try to get its identity. As Sheehan wants to confront L's successor, he threatens L's successor to reveal its identity by sending a media statement posing as Neo-Kara. Ryuzaki receives the media statement and has a plan. In return, Ryuzaki releases an edited video of L telling the Neo-Kara to contact him through a website. After that, Sheehan, posing as Neo Kara, contacts Ryuzaki through a text message on a given website. Ryuzaki tells him to have a voice call. As Sheehan calls Ryuzaki, the Death Note Task Force is able to trace his location. The Death Note Task Force immediately rushes to the location. Now Ryuzaki is alone at the headquarters. Sheehan tells Ryuzaki in the voice call to confront him alone, or else there will be a bloodbath. At the arrival of the Death Note Task Force in the location, Sheehan is not there. Matsuda only gets a death note with his name and kills himself afterward. The failure of the operation makes the police leader take over the case of Death Note and shut down the headquarters of the Death Note Task Force. The Death Note Task Force mourns after that. Miss Hima and Ryuzaki have an argument. Ryuzaki tells Miss Hima he will continue the mission to stop Kara. After that, Miss Hima alone checks the edited video of L and sees a message that makes him realize Ryuzaki has a death note. Later, as Ryuzaki goes inside his home, the loyal Reaper Arma makes an unusual statement to him. Inside, Miss Hima, who already knows Ryuzaki has a death note, angrily points a gun towards Ryuzaki. Ryuzaki tells Miss Hima that he never uses the death note, since he believes that evil means can never be justified regardless of intentions, and his only mission is to stop Kara. Ryuzaki convinces Miss Hima to trust and help him the mission. Miss Hima returns the death note to Ryuzaki. After that, Ryuzaki brings Miss Hima to the headquarters to get the sealed death note. Miss Hima asks Ryuzaki about his plan. Ryuzaki answers that he will contact the Neo Kara and will bring the two death notes they have to the confrontation. Shortly after, Ryuzaki brings Miss Hima to the headquarters to help him through surveillance of the confrontation. The other members of the death note task force are present to help the two of them. Shien, posing as the Neo Kara, provides the instruction to Ryuzaki. Ryuzaki follows the instructions. First, Ryuzaki puts the death notes in a locker in the subway for checking of authenticity. A beggar holds the death note, and Reaper Arm appears, making the beggar fall in fear. Sheedan watches it from a surveillance camera, confirming the authenticity of the death note. Meanwhile, Ryuzaki also confirms the authenticity of the death note of Sheehan, as Ryuzaki is able to summon Reaper Ryuk by holding a death note on a bench. After that, Sheehan instructs Ryuzaki to proceed to Tokyo City Hall. At the Tokyo City Hall, Ryuzaki stands at the center of the hall, waiting for the arrival of Sheehan. However, only Miss Amain, who holds a death note, appears in front of him. Miss Amain writes the name of Ryuzaki to the death note as she looks at Ryuzaki's face. Ryuzaki tries to shoot Miss Amain but fails to do so, as he immediately falls to the ground. Miss Hima, witnessing the events in the surveillance camera, shouts in anger. Sheehan gets Miss Amain and tells her that they will go to the promised place. However, as they walk, Miss Amain stops, telling Sheehan she knows Light is already dead, and Sheehan must continue to carry on the Will of Light. After that, Miss Amain proceeds to give the death note and the location of the promised place to Sheehan. 
Meanwhile, Miss Hima heard everything they talked about in the headquarters through the surveillance and now knows the location where Sheen will go. Meanwhile, Miss Aming writes her own name in the death note, killing herself in the process. After that, Sheen arrives at the promised place. It is at the top of the mountain in an old establishment. Sheen opens the case which contains the six death notes. Then Sheen holds one death note and summons Ryuk. Sheen tells Ryuk that he wishes to have a Reaper's eye in exchange for his own life to kill the real Neo Kara and be Kara's real successor. Ryuk grants Sheen's wish. Later, Sheen waits for the arrival of Neo Kara in the promised place. As Sheen looks at the door, waiting, Miss Hima, with her face hidden, arrives with a gun pointed towards him. Sheen suddenly stops in fear of what he sees. Ben and Ryuzaki also arrives at the promised place. Sheen writes the name of Ryuzaki in his death note, but Ryuzaki is not affected. Ryuzaki explains to them that his name is already written in another death note with a future date. And as a result, his fate cannot be affected by other death notes. Also, Ryuzaki reveals to them that Misa Amain's death note did not affect him. He just pretends to die in order to figure out the identity of Neo Kara. But at that moment, Ryuzaki knows that Sheen is not the real Neo Kara. As they ponder upon who is the real Neo Kara, Ryuzaki realizes that it is Miss Hima. Miss Hima is not aware that he is actually the real Neo Kara. Ryuzaki realizes that Miss Hima lost his memory by giving up the death note. Miss Hima touches the death note and regains his memory. They confirm Miss Hima is the real Neo Kara, as Miss Hima remembers that he lost his memory by giving up the death note to a cyber terrorist years ago. As Sheen confirms that Miss Hima is the real Neo Kara and knows the real name of Miss Hima through the Reaper's eye, he tries to write Miss Hima's real name on a hidden death note behind his back. However, Sheen fails to do so as the policemen and helicopters arrive and shoot at them. They immediately hide in cover to avoid the bullets. Outside, the police leader commands the policemen to kill the three of them and get the death note. Sheen tries to stop the policemen using his reaper's eye and the death note with the help of Ryuk. However, he fails to do so as the policemen shoot at him. As Sheen is badly wounded by the bullets and cannot escape, Miss Hima tells Sheen to hand over the death note rather than letting the government have them. So Sheen gives all of the death notes to Miss Hima. After getting all of the death notes, Miss Hima and Ryuzaki try to escape in the tunnel, but in the end, the policemen entrap them. The movie ends where Miss Hima is locked up in prison, and Ryuzaki lives free since he is above the law. Ryuzaki comes to visit Miss Hima in prison and tells him that four of the six death notes have been destroyed. This means that the Reapers can spread them in the world again. Ryuzaki then tells Miss Hima to get out of prison and live as Ryuzaki to find and seal the death notes since his death is near. Miss Hima walks out of prison to continue Ryuzaki's mission, that is, to contain the death note and seal them to stop the emergence of a new Kara, while Ryuzaki dies alone inside the prison. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your fun for today.